right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Happy Bring you the latest and most up-to-date information about Kingdom Hearts 3. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five bad guys in Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm so flattered. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Happy, how do you know about these bad guys in Kingdom Hearts 3 when it hasn't even come out? Uh, because it's logic? Hello? Obviously, at the end of each and every Kingdom Hearts game, you always have to fight the main villain of the story in every single Kingdom Hearts game. Plus, there's a lot of bad guys that are already established to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, out of all these bad guys, I'm gonna pick the top five ones that I think deserve an actual spotlight in Kingdom Hearts 3. Number five! Number five has to be E. Isa. Isa, Isa. <laughs> yeah, Isa. Isa, if you guys don't know, if you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, is for Kingdom Hearts 2. His name is Sykes. He is part of the organization 13. He's actually one of Master Xehanort's extremely dedicated underlings he actually sticks with master saiyan or throughout the whole story as you know axel if you guys don't know again axel betrays master saiyan or when he becomes lee when he finally gets you know reborn as lee he betrays master saiyan or so his best friend is isa or used to be at once upon a time and since isa and axel are on opposing ends i could really see a really epic battle between the two going down in kingdom hearts 3 because yes i still do believe that we're gonna be able to play with lee and Kingdom Hearts 3. Number four. Number four has to be the most annoying freaking guy that we've seen over and over and over again. <laughs> Hades. Yes, Hades will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't care what you say. Come at me, bro. Why do I say this? Because if you ever seen the Hercules movies, this is towards the end of the Hercules movie. This is when Hades releases all the Titans. Talk about the Air Titan, the Ice Titan, the Earth Titan, which is this one that you're seeing right here. And then you have to fight Hades in the underworld to get, um, Meg's spirit back, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. I know that you go to Mount Olympus to rescue your father, and you have a really epic battle against Hades. So, yeah, I think that Hades most definitely will be in Kingdom Hearts 3. Number 3. Number 3 has to be, of course, Master Saiyanor himself. Yes, the Master Saiyanor, not Ansem, not no Semnis, Master Saiyanor, this old bastard right here that we've been dying to fight since birth by sleep. Damn, Master Saiyanor! Get it again with your unlimited lives. Yes. Yes, this guy right here. He will be back in Kingdom Hearts 3, kicking all kinds of ass, destroying us. Probably gonna be one of the, the most annoying fights that we're ever going to encounter because his goddamn self from Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped this. This was annoying enough as it is. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, his younger self, Young Master Saiyan in Kingdom Hearts 3 is hella annoying. You can get him down all the way to 1 HP and that bastard just rewinds time so you have to fight him all over again i can only imagine if he gets those powers in kingdom hearts 3 how really annoying he's going to be Ugh. number two number two has to be the Stabbington brothers now i'm not gonna say that they're gonna be the main bad guys in the rapunzel world in kingdom hearts 3 but i think that they're gonna make a really good appearance obviously i'll, I'll more than likely say that mother gothel will be the main bad guy there because i mean she is the main villain in tangle but i really do think that the Stabbington brothers will be much of a better and more fun fight than actually having to fight mother gothel because mother gothel is really not a bad person if you actually watch the movie she's really not a bad person she's just trying to stay young and you know she raised this girl technically as her own daughter so i don't really see how she's a bad person i mean there's been worse people out there in disney overall so i don't really see mother gothel in fact it, it, it would actually make me feel bad to kill mother gothel because i really don't get a really bad guy type of you know feeling from her as i would like somebody like ursula who was just pure evil in my personal opinion a pain in the ass to kill number one 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 number one has to go of course of course of course and this is such a biased thing come so me i don't care yokai yes yokai this guy right here from big hero 6 um i'm not gonna spoil it if you guys don't know who yokai is if you guys haven't seen big hero 6 but he's the guy who controls the little robots basically that you know can move around all over the place and everything yes that will be a very epic fight 
I mean, if you ever seen Big Hero 6, if you haven't seen Big Hero 6, there's a really, really big epic fight at the end of the movie. And I want to see that epic fight take fruition in Kingdom Hearts 3. That would be so amazing. I mean, I can only imagine why this game is taking that long because they have to plan out all these fights. They have to plan out all these worlds. I mean, and yes, there are worlds. They're not like, you know, what we're used to in Kingdom Hearts overall, where it's like walls, you know, incarcerating a certain place and then you go to another part of that world and you gotta wait no 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 these are worlds there's no loading screens there's nothing it's just a world so i can only imagine how epic this fight will be with yokai guys these are my personal five bad guys from kingdom hearts 3 i want to know what your personal top five bad guys are from kingdom hearts 3 yes there's a lot left don't look at me like that Psh. oh you don't believe me okay i'll read you some of them ansem yes ansem the main bad guy from kingdom hearts 1 Samnus. Yes, Samus, the main bad guy from Kingdom Hearts 2. He's in this too because young Master Saiyanor went to the past and got all of them. It, 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 play Dream Drop Distance, right? And come back at me. Play Dream Drop Distance, then come at me, bro. Come at me. All right, guys, this has been a really fun video for me to make. Please hit that like button. It helps the channel tremendously. I love making videos like this where I just have a lot of fun. And please share this with your friends. You know, it always helps out to get my word out there that, hey, you know, this is a really cool channel or whatever it is. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about for today, guys. Remember, stay happy. Have a nice day. I'm so flattered.